The other night, after the first meeting, I went home, and at 2 o'clock in the morning, I woke up, and I could not turn my brain off. And I got my computer, and I wrote. And I wrote this statement, and I'm going to read it to you. And I, and I just bear with me, because I am not much of a poet. All right? Arne County, this, the way I see it, it's time, my friends, to take a stand here in this land of bounty. Where we work, we live, we raise our kids, we hunt, we fish, the place is Harney County. We are not opposed to sitting at the table as long as we work hand in hand, for the Harney farmers and ranchers are still the greatest stewards of this land. This land used to thrive with cattle and timber, with a thriving economy, new schools and jobs are plenty. We're surely not in sync. The timber industry and lotters here in Burns are nearly but extinct. You see, there came this bird who shut down the forest and took, and look where we are now. Yes, the endangered bird who's not flourishing now with timber mills gone, that little spotted owl. The environmentalists, oh, the environmentalists, they think they know it all most of which live in the city in those buildings big and tall. They breathe the thick dark air and live in nasty smog, then try to tell us how to live and live our lives as they sit and write their blogs. They call us rednecks, hicks, clinging to our guns and religion, and they think it's pretty funny. When all they don't really, when all we all know, sorry, we all know they don't really care about our lands as they cash all that liberal money. Our local federal agencies with whom we work and know we can rely, many of which grew up here, farmers, loggers, and ranchers themselves, and are just striving to get by. It's the ones who make the policies from D.C., you know the ones we call the feds, they wave their ink-filled wands without the facts, like a snake with many heads. They tell us this is our land, our roads, our forests, yet access is now denied. Is this really our lands, our roads, our forests, or do you think maybe someone lied? They keep on telling us they know what is best, how to manage our own lands, and treat us like a bunch of clowns. Have they checked in lately with the local OSU Ag Research Center and their amazing data? Do they know it's world renowned? We get nervous and scared when dealing with such large and powerful forces. However, I think in Harney County, best know how to use our own resources. They claim, hey, we've given you and yours constituents a seat at front and center of the table. Then with a mighty stroke of the pen and a policy change, it all becomes a fable. If we are not diligent, work together, fight hand in hand to save our lands, we surely won't lament. But if we do nothing, our county and others just like it will soon be monuments. Our ranchers, loggers, and farmers work from sunup to sundown to make a meager living. While in Washington, D.C., they just turn on the printing press, and then they just keep on a giving. If we ran our business like they do in D.C. and continue to spend without a care, we would all, all, be on the next bus out of town borrowing money for our fare. It is time we make a stand, get educated, come up with a solution. We have a map, and it's already laid out for us. It's called the Constitution. Many men have bled and died for this land that we all love. But really, let's be honest, we could never have done it without help from God above. I truly love Greg Walden's speech. It's one we'll all remember. But be careful. As I said, he voted for the massive omnibus spending bill, which passed this month and last late December. 
The sage grouse, as you know, was fraught with massive exploitation. Little did we know that really in D.C. it was only used as a ploy for negotiation. If they really cared about the bird, they would read and study all the data collected. But that was not their objective, as we all know. And hey, they say, you really won't be that effective. The grass and trees here grow so freely, and yes, they long to heights aspire without thinning and grazing of our loggers and cattle soon will just be consumed by fire. It's true at times we feel outnumbered with all these powerful forces. Management, they say, is our forte. Just go and ask them about those wild horses. Although talk of global warming seems alarming, but it's really getting quite old, come spend the winter here in Burns with us in this bitter, frigid cold. Most of this entire country on the map is mostly red, except for a few coastal states who without us might not get fed. These blue states sure do love our steaks and the food they keep on eating. They keep ramming these policies down our throats and soon they'll be all vegan. Before the folks in Washington pass a bill or decide to make a move, they should come to Harney County during cattle season and live in our rancher's shoes. Mr. Grassi, we met with you as a group of concerned citizens this past year. And we brought up these very same principles that we've been talking about, and we get nothing in return. I want to read this last statement. Many of the policies that come down from Washington often have the smell of feces. This is the question that I want to send back to Washington, D.C. Not here locally, to D.C. It's now high time you add our farmers, loggers, and ranchers to your list of endangered species. Yeah!